A series of provocative and racially charged photos have gone viral. They turned the traditional victim into the aggressor, and that theme has sparked a deep conversation, mostly over the Internet, about race. Tonight we speak with a photographer in our first-person report. My name's Tyler Shields, and I'm a photographer. So this is a series called Historical Fiction, which is a series that takes place between 1950 and 1970. So when I was a kid, I grew up in Florida, and in the South, the KKK was very prevalent. The Klan became a name of terror to millions in the South. But one of the things that I always noticed is when you ask anyone about the KKK, the first image that pops into their head is a Klansman hanging a black man. And I just always thought it would be such a powerful thing, and it would be so interesting to see, you know, what would it be like if the Klansman was the one in the tree? You know, the response that I've gotten from this photo is, this is the most powerful photo I've ever seen. Um, I've been thanked for this picture more than any other picture that I've ever taken. What was interesting about the photo of the, um, of the men holding down the police officer is, I did that probably nine, ten months ago. So I did it before the I Can't Breathe and before, you know, a lot of these things have, have recently just been happening. And as they started happening, I was like, oh man, this photo just keeps getting more and more powerful. If someone did that to a police officer, as, as you see in my photograph, I mean, the uproar that that would cause would be cataclysmic. The Martin Luther King image, which is one of my favorites from the series, is these four women in a hair salon. And as they read this story, they realize that their lives are about to change. And the reactions that you see from them are so interesting because the women in the photograph had a real visceral experience unlike anything I've ever seen shooting anyone. And each one of the girls broke down individually. You know, uh, as you grow up, I mean, you know, he was dead long before any of them were born, so it wasn't something that they actually had to face. People want substance. And this is the first time that I've really tackled an issue like this. If any one of these photos can cause any type of change, then my job is done. And that is our news for this hour. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm David Schuster. The news continues next with Antonio Mora and Barbara Serra.